have you ever tried to tickle yourself? More than likely you didn't succeed, even if you break into giggles when another person tickles you. So what makes a touch a tickle? Constantina Kilteni, a neuroscientist at the Donders Institute and Karolinska Institute, explores this very question with the help of a tickle machine that strokes the soles of participants' feet. She and her team measure people's brain activity and physical reactions to tease apart what happens during a tickle. Even though most of us can be tickled, it's almost universal that we can't tickle ourselves. Kilteni said this is because the brain tells self-touch apart from other touches. Different brain regions work together to determine where our body parts are and anticipate where they're going. This prevents most people from experiencing tickling from their own actions. However, Kilteni said that people with schizophrenia often have less activity in these self-touch sensing regions. This could influence the severity of hallucinations these people experience. These open questions have Kilteni calling tickling, quote, a big enigma for science. So, what tickling questions do you have?